Hello folks and welcome back to StarCraft 2 Legacy of the Void. As always, of course, I am Falcon, your host. And we have a warp travel ready thing, so we're gonna go ahead and hit that and see where precisely it is that we're going. The void portal within Ulnar has been sealed, but a greater threat looms. Amon is transforming our people into a host form. While we were focused upon Ulnar, he has unleashed the full might of the Golden Armada, using our own weaponry to eradicate life from planets across the Caprulu sector. Our current forces are not powerful enough to engage the Great Fleet, but Amon's other servants run rampant across the sector. Then we should strike immediately. Eliminate his outlying forces. The ancient purifiers were designed for war. If we reactivate them, we can build our armies and destroy Amon's Zergroods in one fell swoop. Assuming they do not turn on us first, the purifiers possess no loyalty, no honor. You waste time bickering. The Taldarim's death fleets are your threat. I alone can challenge Malash for the right to rule, and bend his army to my will. Do not forget Mobius Corps. They are rumored to operate from a hidden base, where they forge a hybrid army to serve, even now. This is true, but we cannot engage them without knowing where they are. Vorazun, send your most elite Dark Templar to scour the sector. For now, Karax, your focus must remain with the Keystone. The survival of our people depends on our actions in the days to come. It falls to the firstborn to stop the coming oblivion. It sounds pretty dire, but... Alright, so... Indian and Slain. Let's see what they are first. The Selnaga are dead. There is no salvation within Ulnar. And yet... We indeed found hope. If we are to fight, we must raise an army. Phoenix and I believe that we can awaken the ancient purifiers and call upon their power. They may have been a forbidden weapon, but I have seen their potential in Phoenix and know that this time they will not fail us. Okay, so let's going to go rescue them. We also have the Colossus, which would be fucking awesome to have. So really help you. Oh, fucking Void Rays! Oh, we're doing that. Tassadar, old friend. What would you do? Zeratul, would you have me take such a chance? The answer matters little. If this alliance can weaken Amon's armies, then it is a chance that must be taken. Ooh, so we got Void Rays or Colossus. Both are freaking awesome, but I really need some sort of air attack force. Like, I really need that, so we're gonna go with Void Rays. Um... Getting the Taldarim on our side, too, is also probably very useful. It is we our got a fleet. Behold the Death Fleet under Amon's command, poised on laying waste to all life in the sector. Then we had best act swiftly. Rakshir, usurpation by ritual combat cannot be rushed. Its rights demand careful preparations if they are to be accepted. We are in orbit above a hostile world with an imposing fleet, and you speak of preparation? I intend to depose Malash, the ruler of an entire people, and bring them under my thrall. You will aid me, and in return, I will remove the Taldarim from this conflict. That was our bargain. To do this, the ritual must be carried out as tradition demands. This bargain grows less appealing by the moment. I'm gonna remove them from the conflict, so you're not gonna help, you're just gonna take them out of the way. Well, it's still useful, but... Mm. I wish to know more about this Rakshir. 
your ritual combat. To understand Rakshir, you must first understand the sacred chain of ascension that ultimately links to Amon. Each of us is shackled to his will and to the will of he who is in the link above. And yet, there is a way to ascend. By blade and blood, any Taldarim can usurp the position of the one above his station. It is through this ritual that Amon's ascendants are assured to be the most capable to carry out his will. Then Malash is the most powerful of your people? He is considered so, but he has yet to face me. You sound awful confident in your capabilities. Ah, Artanis. I believe I will serve you more effectively from here. Besides, I would rather Alarak remain where he can be watched. There are things I understand about the Taldarim. Their zeal, their desire to appease their god. What I cannot understand is why Amon would cast aside his loyal allies so easily. Why he would betray their sacred trust and treat them as fodder. I have felt his grand ambitions, Artanis. The dark truth is, Amon wishes no allies aside from his hybrid. He believes he's ending the cycle of violence, but he only brings about an eternity of abomination. So he thinks he's doing good, is what you're telling me? Well, fuck that. <laughs> okay, so we did- we are gonna try vanguards instead of immortals. I wanna see how good they are. And then we have these bloodhunter dudes because their ability to disable uh, units that can detect them. I wanna get try give that a try because that sounds like it'll be fucking awesome. So we're gonna try that. We have some interesting capabilities, some of which I'm tempted to try, but we're not going to quite have Welcome, the time I've been stay. analyzing the Taldarim's war machines. Their technology is cloned from Kalai designs. Aside from the construction materials, there is little deviation. How is this feat possible? There have always been legends of vessels that set out into the cosmos and never returned, of attack forces gone missing. I have heard these stories. Whispers of angry spirits of our past that strike when you are most vulnerable. Imagine if all this time we have been fighting an unknown war against the Taldarim. It would explain a great deal. How sad. They are thieves, never knowing the joys of their own invention. How despicable. Perhaps. But I would be, uh... Careful not to say that around Alarak. They take offense. <laughs> to the right. Eliminate the Guardians. In order to invoke the challenge of Rakshir, preparations must be completed, as the decrees of old describe. Ready your warriors. Malash will surely attempt to interfere. One of the Guardians while the Terrazine Fog is active. And complete it before the fourth cycle. I don't know how easy that's going to be, but I'm gonna try it on hard. You have void rays now, so if I just go, base, I'm just gonna go basically a horde of void rays. Like fuck everything else, I'm just building horde rays. Uh, void rays. But I'll build some ground forces. I have some ground forces, but I'm basically just going to build nothing but Void Rays. <laughs> Go a little not so cuckoo with it. This is their construction? It's kind of... weird. I guess still kind of Protoss... looking, but... Flash Zelnaga looking a little bit, but it is definitely kind of freaky looking. Certainly goes along with a kind of dark... Uh, almost like demonic Protoss look. This These are the well Guardians. I need you to eliminate them before I proceed. Those two? If it must be done. Wait, what is that strange fog? Tarazine. It flows in cycles from the chasms of slain, bringing us closer to the void. 
Amon's forces will be able to manifest until the flow subsides. They do not possess their full power here, yet they will strike at your base ruthlessly. Okay, so my ground units are going to be defensive, and my... I thought you promised an assured victory, Adalak. You enjoy a challenge, do you not? Very well. My forces will pursue the Guardians while it is clear. When the Terrazine flows, we must endure the onslaught. Ah, that's still fun. We're gonna hit him with everything we've got. You have not the Terrazine will rise shortly, my warriors. Be vigilant. Void right. rays can now be warped in at our Stargate. They are ideal Void for intercepting foes in the battle games. ahead. Well done, Faye Smith. We will make good use of them. You have we'll to see how much time we have in between waves because we clearly don't have. We identify. Phase crystals charged. Okay, move you guys behind because I don't want to outweigh the attack. Okay. Let's see. The veil between this world and the void is lifting. Amon's forces will arrive soon. Good. This is what we want to not see. Alright, so let's get another one of those out. We meet the enemy in the race. Up there. Pull back, guys. Didn't actually lose any troops because of the sexual uh, ability. send anything that can hit air units against me. It doesn't necessarily mean anything, but... It could be useful. May not do anything for me in the long run. Hold back, I don't want you to die. Oh, shit! Kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it! You require my skill. You have not enough minerals. This dude, how much shit is he gonna send at me? Let our enemy know our fury. You have not enough okay, One more of these that we maxed out on them. I, hey, I seriously need this shit to end. Annihilation commences. Oh good! Battleships! Oh, is it over? Yes. The Guardians stand watch over the shrines. Kill them slowly and painfully. My people will fight with honor, even when we are fighting for you. But first, we must establish our defenses. Yeah, I clearly need to establish those defenses because holy shit. I need one more because I want to be able to have you out as a separate thing. Okay, I need to start getting void rays up. Really need to find another an expansion base. If there is one. Hierarch, I was able to scan the Taldarine motherships in this region. Shrine. They are carrying shipments of solarite. I don't think Alarak would mind if we liberated them. Alright, so we need a couple of stargates. I want to be able to get. Uh, lots and lots of void rays being built. 
we probably do need at least this one robotic factory. Begins. And probably at least one more gateway. Prismatic core on so that we have sufficient production capability. Get things running. I get the impression that they're probably not going to attack me too much uh, while we are sitting here. Okay, so let's get a Dark Archon. I need a bunch of. You have not I do want minerals. some Blood Hunters. And we need stalkers and other dudes. Days, and then I still need so much money. So much more money than what I have available. So much more money than what I have available right now. You have not enough minerals. Calibrate void lenses. Cuss. I was sure. So we've got started to get our void ray production up and running. Speak your natures. Who unfortunately are not terribly useful. I stand ready. Okay. I seek for your um, Stop. You have not enough minerals. Funny. <laughs> I need money more than stalkers. Our pylon is under attack. Holy shit. Really? Hopefully these guys are not as strong as the actual real units are. As far as like health. Or really any anyway, really, but Zack Naku Effectively in health, they're not that strong, but That doesn't make that doesn't surprise me actually. Let's say I'd be more surprised if you could This right here is clearly meant to be my. The strength of the chosen. Taldarim ships are heading towards our nexus, Hyrock. Bring them down. Shadows. So they are going to attack while I'm fucking sitting here. You have not. We face the enemy. That's the bullshit. Well, you all know that. That's the bullshit. 
what they're throwing at me specifically, but whatever it is, I need to do. Base is under attack. Let our enemy know our fury. I am the voice of the eclipse. I have to that. We require the ice. We face the enemy. Shit tons of Blade Hunters. Blade Hunters and um systems and the other guys. Poison Poisoners. Actually, try and destroy this guy during the uh, void bomb here, just because it'll make a, it'll give you that one. Oh, no, the one objective. We approach the void. Ready your warriors. You require more Vespine gas. You require more Vespine gas. This vessel shall avenge. Where does my prey? Phase crystals, John. Have you so come to bear space. witness to the end? While the Terrazine is active, reckless speed. This shall not be our end, but a new beginning. Channel the light. 
phase crystals charged. Annihilation commencing. All right, let's massively call you guys so that we can get you all down here. Systems at full. Uh, we need more of them built. You require more Vespi oh, gas. Maybe. Or I lost my. You must construct additional lost my one probe. This warrior always using for uh. Do not fear stuff. death. Fear Amon. Yeah, that's probably a good idea. Enemy ships have set a course for our nexus. That's uh, fine. This vessel shall be we'll kill this guy first, and then uh, calibrate void lenses. Then we'll do that. You should have everything now, Face Smith. Thank you, Hierarch. I shudder to think of what they were planning to do with it. Gus, I was shown. Base is under attack. We face the enemy. Die again. Prismatic core online. <laughs> we face the enemy. What is this shit? How did you kill my fucking ground? All my uh, you fucking my hunters. Our pylon is under attack. We are this vessel. is 
slay my enemies. This vessel shall evade. We call you guys. I want you all to fly Systems out together. And a cool rock. I would like to know what the fuck happened that they got inside my base in the first place. And equally importantly, what the fuck happened to all of my hunters that should have been stopping them? That would be nice to know. I need to hurry the hell up, though. Annihilation commencing. What time this fucking year, guys? There we go. Oh shit. Also, I was about to run out of fucking money anyway, but... Our pylon is under attack! That... Holy shit! Oh yeah, I think I lost. Uh, but I didn't lose... If we go back to here... Uh, because it was when I... I lost when they hit me... And got inside and managed to somehow, whatever the fuck it is that they destroyed my. Ah, another guardian has fallen. What a thrilling sight. If it is so thrilling, stuff is actually important. Why not join us? Well, I must save my spring to face Malash, of course. Oh shit, that's how they destroyed them. I see. I see what happened. They got them. I got wrecked by, uh... Um... Yes. 
channel the light of Ion. Okay. Fog is fading. What better time is there to slay my enemies? Whatever you shut the hell up. That's what it's a better time. No idea if the enemy will attack those or not. Probably will. Oh. No, 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 no. None of that. None of that. I don't want to deal with anything that we don't have to deal with. Okay, so we're going to avoid all those tactics. Ships have set a course for our nexus. Really fucking bad. Under cool the rock. Ikuda anai. All of my guys have lost their shields, so I need to be very, very careful. You know little of Alarak, or you would not aid him. Oh, what glorious deaths! You do well to promote my cause, Artanis. I only hope that is true. Process. We our pylon is under attack. What you were or who you were, but needed to die. So you shall. All right, come on, guys, hurry up. Oof. The fog gathers, Artanis. Make your preparations if you are so inclined. Okay, well, that's actually, that would be doable if I w went back and did it again. Uh, I just need to move faster, basically. Um, 
and instead of trying to attack all of the things the way I did, you just need to get in and get out much quicker. So that's not too bad, though. I think I, that's, that's doable. I think. Lots of enemy units killed. Alright, now I'm really happy about having Void Rays, though. Because Void Rays are so fucking powerful. And they're so good. They're, like, one of the best units that you can get with a Protoss, period. And so very, very pleased that I have them. Yes. I am going to make this clear. The Templar are not a weapon you can wield as you wish. We are not here to slay your enemies under false pretenses. Deceive me again, and this alliance of ours comes to an end. Slaying Malash's guardians fulfilled more than one purpose. Once the High Lord lies dead at my feet, none will challenge my rule. After all these years, my victory is nearly at hand. I feel his concern on Tannis. He knows that I'm coming for him. Malash? No. Amon. Through the breath of creation, I peer beyond the veil. Oh, yes, I feel his rage washing over me. He knows I no longer fear him. He knows that the Taldarim have no color for him to control. I will turn the Chosen against him. Do not assume you are already victorious, Alarak. Do not let the Terrazine cloud your judgment. You have a battle to win first. True. The battle is already won. In my mind's eye, I have delivered the killing blow in a thousand ways. From my experience, overconfidence is your opponent's greatest ally. Do not let yours aid Malash. Spoken as one who welcomes defeat. No, spoken as one who prepares. A new combat unit awaits factional assignment hierarchy. Thanks. I kinda know Malash that. Malash has proven himself to be a dangerous leader. Indeed. That's why my victory shall be the sweetest of ecstasy. Has he defeated many in this rite? Countless. He ascended the chain with brutal wrath, plowing through all who opposed him. It's as if he were blessed by the Dark God. They called him the Blade of Amon. And still he was challenged? It is our way. He defeated each with lingering cruelty. Malash revels in bringing his challengers to the edge of death and tormenting them for a time after. That does not comfort me, Alarak. Yeah. Comfort is a myth. Given to younglings until they are ready for the trials and pain that is true existence. Believe me, it is time to make preparations. You are... Hierarch, my scouts are tracking the movements of the Golden Armada. Good. This chain of ascension is a despicable practice. It is how the Kalai once thought of the Nerezim's Shadow Walk. There is no comparison. Our society was not founded upon them. Their culture is one unyielding hierarchy, servant to master, a constant reinforcement of their bondage to Amon. But they have been lied to, Matriarch. And how could this change if it is all they have ever known? Our people once only knew hatred of one another. Suspicion. Yes. We viewed your practices as barbaric, and you viewed ours as cruel. It is the same with the Tal'Darim, with the destruction of Amon, and the revelation of his betrayal. I expect their entire society to seek out who they truly are and what they wish to be. You know, uh, StarCraft is always pulling very heavily from the Warhammer 40k universe, and the Tal'Darim are basically the Dark um, Eldar. They're, they're very, very much the Dark Eldar, just as the Protoss are basically the Eldar. Uh, with a little mix, with a little bit of the, um, uh, oh crap. Oh, the other faction that, whose name I can't remember off the top of my head, like throw it in the mix. In the mix. Of course, the Terrans. Very similar to um, 
Like the Marines look very similar to Space Marines. Rohana, is this all that remains of our standing? It's it's the very. Assault ships are now ready for your inspection. Aha. Uh -huh. So this is the void, right? They're awesome. Destruction is at hand. Cool. Looks like it's nowhere near as powerful as Void Rays are, though. I think Void Rays could have wiped through that, that amount of stuff much quicker. There's only three of them, but... Deals damage traditional nearby targets, or it continues to attack up to a maximum of three. Uh, okay. As opposed to... Damages attacks and gives you additional range. So the destroyers are going to have to be much closer, much closer to be able to uh, attack. Paradakural. Destruction is uh... Nah, I think we're gonna see the point race. I think those are gonna be my better option. I was definitely thinking about it, but I think those are New Taldarim robotics Ultimately, have been constructed based on Alarax specifications. Be my better choice. Let us hope these instructions were thorough. Reese's damage dealt to enemy So the force field thing and can boost the range and damage done to stuff. Alright, that's, that's kind of cool. I think I still like the centuries better, but it's kind of cool though. Down. Let's we'll stick with void rays though, because I think those are the better option. Carax, the keystone. It's reacting to avoid energies upon the planet's surface, most likely. I've seen this before on Ulnar. This Terrazine must be directly linked to the Void. The Taldarim call it the Breath of Creation. They believe imbibing it allows them to speak directly to Amon. A far-fetched claim, yet I cannot deny its plausibility. The substance's properties appear to be foreign to our universe. Perhaps this is why it is so holy to them. They seek out planets rich in Terezine, and turn them into temples to their god. Our coming here may be a blessing to us. If the Keystone reacts to Terezine like it does with Void Energy, I may be able to use it to stress the artifact, determine its limits. Perhaps fate has not abandoned us completely. We must have faith. I prefer results, Hierarch. Amon is powerful in measures that eclipse even the Queen of Blades. There is no room for uncertainty. Oh, we've seen that, because Karin was getting her ass handed to her, so... Yeah, yeah, that's a nice chunk of additional money. I would like to try these other ones, but I really like Orbital Assimilator. I really don't want to uh, lose that. I dropped you to Chrono Surge, we can try the Solar Lance. And if we're going air units, warp and reinforcement is probably not as valuable to me. Um, because I really want Chrono Surge would help me build void arrays. Or we could uh, dump a lot. Oh, we'd have to dump almost everything or pull some stuff off of here, I suppose. And we could try Phoenix. Be able to 
overcharge is also really nice. Let's try, let's try shield overcharge and then... Chrono Surge. And compute production time up. Try that. Mass Recall has been useful. Definitely has been useful. Field Overcharge, I think. Ooh, actually, Shield Overcharge is more expensive than, uh, Mass Recall to cast. I think I'll stick with Mass Recall for now until I have enough to do Phoenix. Try solar lance instead of the orbital strike. Solar lance is powerful and sounds cool. Okay, let's make sure it's not in cutscene. It's time to strike. No cutscene. Okay, so we will we will continue this next time. So thanks for watching, folks. Please like and subscribe if you enjoy my content. Thank you for watching, and I will see you later. Bye bye.